You mentioned earlier, just a few, few seconds ago, that the market doesn't seem to believe the Fed. Does that, what does that mean? Is that they, so they have to even act tougher, talk tougher, do more things to do? Well, uh, here's, here's the risk, okay? You have, um, you know, housing strikes out yesterday, and you saw they decline. But the truth is, um, that was in November where rates peaked, mortgage rates peaked in the early November. Well, they're down 90 basis points since then. Okay, that doesn't really help you a lot. Junk spreads, um, down 150 basis points since they're peaking in early October, late September. That doesn't really do a lot for you if you're the Fed. Um, the 10-year Treasury, which, you're, you know, which you see every day, down 60 basis points. Well, that doesn't do a lot for you if you're the Fed. All these different things being easier since then, obviously the stock market since those 3,600 lows, up near 10%. Well, that doesn't do much for you if you're the Fed. And by the way, talking about how much the market's down or not down since 19 before COVID, we probably got 7 8% annual returns to this point right now where we're sitting. That's not so bad, Joe, I mean, historically. Now, this year's not good, but the last three years, and I'm not talking the COVID lows, I'm talking 19, the end of 19, before COVID. I mean, we have reasonable returns for the last three years based on that rate. Um, and, you know, I don't know if 19 was exactly the end of 19. What do you exactly call, a, a, you know, a low point in the market before COVID struck? So, um, I mean, I'm looking at that and I got I got a, I mean, we don't have coordinated tightening around the whole world and everybody tightening at the same time too often. You just don't. And I don't have people telling me they're going to go further tightening. You just don't. And they don't tell me where they're going to go too often. And you just don't. And they don't have a, two years and two years here below where they tell me going to go when, if they go that way, on average, so far below it. You just don't. So I have these, you want to call them, you know, and I understand that you get other people saying inflation is down, they should do this and they should do that. Well, they're telling me what they want to do. And they know all this stuff that all these other people do because they're worried about this other underlying um, mismatch in the labor market, I think. I think, you know, that they're worried about that. They may be worried about other things, but just they don't want inflation to take hold and they don't want it to get higher. You don't want to have a steady state that you think after you do things of four, you know, 4% or four and a half, you know, 4% call it, you know, they want inflation at 2%. So they're looking at beyond when inflation comes down from 8% to, you know, it's going to come down to 4% or something like that. They don't want a persistent 4%. They want to get in front of that. A little bit because they're very they're fairly nervous about that. They're nervous about it. The BOE is nervous about it. The um, the ECB is nervous about it. You know, so it's it's it is what it is. But David, I can't and, imagine and, 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 that you're and, and, and in the towel and, 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 and closing and up Becky, shop. What do you do? You. I mean, I'm sorry, like, say that, Vicky. But I can't imagine you're throwing in the towel and, and closing up shop over this. It's it's a tough environment. <laughs> but what are you doing? No, we're not closing up shop now. Um, Look, uh, listen, what I do and what, you know, other people do, you know, what normal investors that look at the show, I mean, you're supposed to always hold stocks and get look through these things and own for a long, long term to, you know, to, to a certain extent. So that does that means if your stock portfolio is your, 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 your range of stock portfolio from 50 to 60 percent long to 90 percent long, you would probably be less long. That's what that means to me, because you know, the average person should not be moving around things and I keep some things because of taxes and other reasons. You know, Warren Buffett would always keep things forever, so he doesn't have to pay taxes on it. Um, but for me, for, as, a, as a hedge fund manager, I'm going to lean uh, short. You know, I'll be, you know, sh I'll be short bonds. And I'll, I'm not a great, I'm I like generally an optimist. You know, I have, just the way I'm, I just have that sort of uh, lean that way. So it's like, I don't, I'm not, I, I would probably say I'm leaning short on the equity markets. Right. You know, so right now, because I think they're, you know, I think the upside downside just doesn't make sense to me when I have so many people telling me, so many central banks telling me what they're going to do, what they right. want to do, what they expect to do. It, what, I mean, it, it has to get, and, and it has to, and, and, and everybody, comes, people come on and say, well, this is going on. Well, they know that stuff, but they're worried about the underlying stuff. And so you have to worry, worry what they're worried about. And by the way, if you think that they're wrong, you know, out there because it's going to go down. You know, well, maybe, you know, maybe they'll cause and maybe they, they realize it. And I don't know what they're saying because they can't say it, but maybe there will be a, you know, a small recession of some sort and will affect prices. And, you know, and, you know, with the market, <laughs> listen, you see these, I saw somebody else on your show the other day, they had a 220 price target, 220 uh, earnings estimate for the S&P. 
Well, these interest rates, it's kind of hard to have a higher, they were putting a really high multiple. And I'm saying, why am I still putting these high multiples of like when I had 1% rates on these things? I got to put multiples to realistically of the market. So that's a question of the stock market right now. What should be the multiple? And Joe, you, you're, you've been around for a lot of markets, not to give your age away on TV, but um, you know, these multiples, what should the multiple be? We lived through multiples of when I was, when, for instance, when we were talking 2010, the multiple was like 11, 12 back then, okay? Coming out of 2009. And those were, in those rates, I mean, you know, to get to, you know, this multiple now is, you know, if you had 220 times, 225 times 16 is 3,600. I mean, I'm just, I'm not suggesting 225 is right, or and you can see what people are forecasting, forecast on your show. You know, if it's a 16 multiple, you know, in those days, you would have said, great. Going from 2010, we talked about those days. I go to 12 to 16. That's a 33 percent increase. Right.